Steam integration kit is out on marketplace and is coming on the GitHub in a week or two and we are just taking care of the copyrights but other than that the Git is already out on marketplace and is in a very good condition, it's tested a lot. The example project is also coming in a day or two, all the images are already attached on the marketplace page and hopefully it will be a very good experience using the kit and uh, just getting it out on Steam. So that said, I'm like, uh, sorry, my voice is, I'm pretty excited for the release of the kit and that's why you hear me like this. It's in few hours and I'm recording this video on 29th and it's releasing in a few hours. So uh, you can hear the excitement. But other than that, uh, the kit has everything that you could have wished for. A few updates are in progress. Like um, there are a few bugs on Mac with the one click deployer, but those are for some another day. We are fixing those and it should be uh, fixed within a week. It's not like EIK where we built the things from ground up on GitHub. It's already completely built. It may have bugs and some things missing, very minor notes with video, this or that. But you can let us know and we can just add it quickly because um, we have built the complete plugin and we have to make sure we don't miss out on anything. But if it's something that it's very specific and we missed out on, just let us on, know on Discord and we will be more than happy to help you out. And the second thing that I wanted to make clear is the GitHub version and the marketplace versions will be different and will not be like EOS integration kit. Um, it's because this plugin is also built over the online subsystem Steam so that you can use any type of um, uh, Unreal plugin like Steam VR or maybe Steam controller or things like that. And that is why uh, but even though we use the Steam like Unreal Steam plugins you can you get the latest steam sdk so we have integrated the latest steam sdk don't worry about that but even though we do that uh, we cannot release that on the marketplace oh sorry we cannot release it on github so the github copy will not have any changes made in the online subsystem and we will make sure to tell you that on how to get those changes in the documentation but that is for some other day uh, it's still 10 to 20 days away from getting the plugin out that said, uh, let's get started with the tutorial. It's pretty easy. You just need to create a project, <laughs> enable the plugin and set up a few configurations and you are done. So as you can see, I'm just creating a project pretty quick. I will be choosing the third person template. And now you can see we have enabled the Steam integration kit. If you don't have it, uh, you need to install it from the marketplace and you should uh, have it then. But we just installed it and it's now enabled. I had to manually build it uh, because I did not own it. Of course, the plugin is not yet released. So now under the project settings, Steam integration kit would come under games and you will see a lot of settings that we have to configure. But don't worry, the one click deploy and deployer account informations are going to be a topic for another video. We are only going to look at the basic settings. So open up your Steamworks and um, here you will get your Steam ID. Copy the Steam ID that you want to use. Like for me, this Operation Sparrow ID I will be using. Don't worry, I'm not making any game named Operation Sparrow. It looks, uh, I just named the game to test it. And for the game version and other info, I'm not worrying about that because I'm not releasing the game yet, but you can look in documentation on how, what these things do. But basically these are just information that you pass on to the uh, game. Now, when this is done, let's, um, Let's just open the default engine.ini because that's where we are going to configure the play, configure the engine to use our version of Steam. So let's go to config default engine.ini and here it is. Now the first thing that you need to do is you can copy it from the documentation. You need to get the online subsystem and make it uh, make it the default so yes as, as I told it's made over it's made over the online subsystem steam so you just need to configure how you normally configure the steam and that should be it again this, these things are copied from the documentation you can just give that a quick look when this is done we just need to do one more thing with the current version of the plugin we need to add be enabled is equal to true but but if you're using a later version that is 1.1 or any version after that you don't need to do that it's in review as of now, so that's why we have to do it. But um, I'm not sure if that comes out before the plugin releases. So that's why I'm not taking a risk and telling you what to do if that happens. Let's quickly open up Steam because we know, oh, Steam is already opened up. Now, um, we I don't think we need to do anything else. Yeah, we can directly go and play as standalone game. 
Oh, before that, let's enable the logs for the standalone game so we can know what is happening. So go to edit and editor preferences and then in play and here add a dash log. And now you can just play as, as a standalone game. Now I am pretty sure this will not work because my Steam has been open in background for 12 or 14 hours and it has not refreshed. So it would the token would have expired most probably. And as you can see, there are no logs and nothing like that, which can tell me that I am logged off or something like that. So I have to use a node and find out that whether I'm logged in or not. So for that, what we can do is go to the level blueprint. So we just go to the third person's level blueprint. And on event begin play, we will just check if the player is logged on or not. So you can just check logged on and this will tell you if the player is logged on or logged in on Steam or not. And you can print the final result. So I am pretty sure it will come out to be false because um, of course the overlay did not come on my second screen. So I know it did not work, but this can be a final uh, thing. So you, here you can see it says false. That means we are not logged in. And I just have to quickly restart my Steam uh, and it should work. Just give me a minute. Yeah, the Steam is restarted. Now let's play. The logs are here. And you can you could see the overlay, right? Uh, and I, if I press shift plus tab, I can open up the overlay and it's working. So it, it was just that the steam uh, did not reload or basically was just uh, in the background for so long that it the token expired and the player was not logged in. Now, because it's working, let's use two more functions just to verify how things work. So we will get the user's persona name, which is normally your username. And we can just print this and we can also get the steam id of the user using the get steam id under the user category and we can then get convert it into an integer or we can get the string value and print it out print this and let's play it came on the second screen let me drag this and here in the logs, you can see it says my name and my Steam ID, which is the correct one. And again, I can open the overlays and you can check the name here. So just give it a try. Let us know how your experience goes. Um, tell us anything that you have any questions or like, sorry, my tongue is slipping. But if you have any questions, let us know on Discord and we would be there to help you out. And that said, thanks a lot. And uh, yeah, see you. Bye.